Alright, welcome to part 3 everyone. I've crawled all the way back over to this ladder and I've just picked up a ration as well that was nearby. So we shall head back down the ladder and then we need to go and find the elevator. Once this camera gets out of the way. Ooh, that's a good one. I was right on the edge of it. And do 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 person there? I can't remember. Or is it further around? Maybe not. There's a door here, but I can't get in that yet. Ooh, uh, yeah, that's not gone well. Oh, tit. I ended up like going up against the wall instead of turning around and going back where I should have done. That was stupid. Look at that one back down the stairs. Yeah. Oh, the box of ammo over there, that'll be useful. Right, we'll try that again, shall we? Wow, I was not even paying attention there. I'm so glad that camera was facing that way. Right, I need to grab those bullets when this guy gets out of the way. Hopefully he doesn't come this way. Oh god. No, he's coming this way. He's not coming this way. Why is that red? Bing! Okay. V1 will do. See? Simples. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Almost. Hmm. Now is probably the time to save as well. You found out hmm. Save. I will skip what she says because she waffles on about random bollocks half the time. Come on, Snake, you can. I know. That's why they sent me here. Oh, go away. Yeah, yeah, I know, he's close. That's a ration. Is there any reason for me to go all the way around here? Oh, I can't, okay. That answers that question then. I'll go away, I know how to climb a ladder. Uh, that's not what I was expecting to do. Where are we? Okay, there we are. Okay. some more ammo it is. Which should put us up to the amount we need. Hmm, fascinating. So we've got to crawl through here. Some dude having a shit. Cold? I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Cool story, bro. Those toilets look nasty as shit as well. Let's see what I did there. That was terrible, I know. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? I think I need to. I don't know where I need to go. Is it left here? Yeah. Who shows a cutscene on one of these vents as well? Oh, shut up! Mm, this way? Nope. 
Oh, right, yeah, I remember now. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh my god, it's the person we're looking for. We're about to get cutscene galore, people, so hold on to your hats. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They Sweet Jesus. Could launch a nuke. How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. You're just going to tell some random dude classified information. We we're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon. That yeah, as you do. World. What? A weapon. The ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. You are, mate. Like I said, cutscene claw. Metal Gear. This is like <laughs> basically the end of part three now, probably. You knew? So if you want to skip it, feel free. Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? Because I'm a magician. We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? Well, the brochure said it had a swimming pool. Metal Gear project was so it's got that going for it. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Armstech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. Been for the revolution. Revolution. Viva la revolution. Rex oh, we're now going on about some other bloody story now. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all Hello. experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? You shut up. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course. There is no, he means NTSC. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. Of course they did. Not. Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a really? time before they get Baker's. You know, a guy reading your mind is perfectly fine. I wouldn't say that's bad. If they find out Baker's password. Yes. It sounds like they probably will. Be able rather than if. There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. Dun dun dun. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. 
That car key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. Three? There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. In the second prince's castle. Basement. I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any so kind. one security door. I do like how this guy's just telling us everything, but like <laughs> he has no idea if we're actually the person we say we are. Area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. Genius. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card, and the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Well, isn't that just terrifying? What happened? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm about to lose control on the floor because this is vibrating all over. Oh no, he's dead. Ah, disaster. Well, I wasn't wrong when I said this will be like the majority of part three now. Dead. Really, that wasn't obvious from the way he just dropped to the floor after screaming in pain. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Yes, sir. Let me out. Hey, we're free. Freeze. Don't move. So you killed the chief. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Yeah. Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? No, but they are. Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! Ah, I thought I'd get away. Oh god. 
She's useless, isn't she? Why are these people dead? What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! I've just stood here without a gun. Shoot, lady! I'm gonna like karate chop them or something. Oh, that was simple enough. Oh god! I keep putting my gun away, I keep thinking it's like R1 to or something. Then I'm in the dark, that is. Might as well use that and go back. Oh! Keep doing that. Got to it. Ah. <laughs> we need to stop doing that, Jesus. Hooray! That leaves it on nicely for the end of part three, then. Thanks for the help. Wait. That ass, you. Who are you? That pixelated ass. She's some crazy lady, don't worry about it. Let her go. You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Good for you. What a waste of ammo, surely you have to reload by now, by the way. Like, oh my god. What's up, floaty dude? More talking. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nano machines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of These it people don't half waffle on, do they? Jesus. So that was Mantis. It was indeed. Can we save it here? We can. Hooray! Okay. <laughs> so finally, after lots of discussions, that is the end of part 3. Join us again for part 4, where we shall continue on and find President Baker.